Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm recommending five must-watch Korean dramas currently available on Netflix. This list has a little something for everyone with a mix of action, romance, sci-fi, and historical drama. Let's get into it. In no particular order, the first drama I'm going to recommend is the 2023 action drama Bloodhounds. The story follows two young boxers who band together with a kind-hearted moneylender and his sassy granddaughter to take down the ruthless loan shark who preys on financially desperate folks. I personally enjoyed the series because the fighting scenes were of supreme quality and the Brotherhood storyline was really touching, not to mention who doesn't love an underdog story. If you like action, this show is definitely for you. Next recommendation is the 2019 historical drama, Rookie Historian. This is about a free-spirited female historian and a crown prince working underground as a romance novelist. The two meet while the female lead is training to become a historian and together they unlock dangerous secrets that could change the course of history and their own destiny. This is a lighthearted story that does a great job at balancing drama, romance, and comedic relief. I really enjoyed this one and if you're a fan of historic dramas, I think you will too. Let's move on to the 2023 romantic comedy, Hate to Love You. This drama follows a spunky female attorney who despises losing to men and an A-list actor who has a strange phobia of women. They're an extremely unlikely pair to fall in love, but a series of events brings the two closer and closer until fate has its way. This is a classic enemies to lovers story that will leave you with all the feels. The acting is top notch and the storyline feels highly plausible, making you fall in love with the characters and wanting to see them succeed. This is a must watch for my enemies to lovers girlies. Switching gears here a bit, my next recommendation is the 2022 fantasy drama Tomorrow. It focuses on a young job seeker who can't land a job and ends up having an accident which lands him in the spirit world where he meets two grim reapers who have the task of preventing suicide. He strikes up a deal to work with them for a period of time in exchange for returning to the physical world where his mom and his sister are hoping for his recovery. As the youngest member of the crisis management team, our hero learns a thing or two about human compassion. Besides the interesting fantasy backdrop, I like this story because it has a deep and reflective look into the delicate nature of life and death. Although a heavy topic, this story is full of heartwarming moments and hopeful beginnings. Last but not least, I'm recommending the 2021 historical drama, The King's Affection. During the Joseon dynasty, the crown prince consort gives birth to twins, which is seen as an abomination in the eyes of high society. So she sends the girl twin away to spare her life while raising the son twin as the one and only heir to the throne. Years later, the son twin dies in an accident and the sister must assume his identity and the throne while hiding her true identity. Don't be fooled by the synopsis though. This is a love story through and through. My problem with this show is the high suspense, high intensity of basically every waking second of the characters lives. It was very anxiety producing for me personally, but I know many of you will love the high stakes drama and the complex storyline. So despite my own heart palpitations while watching it, if you enjoy this kind of show, I'd highly recommend it. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you have any K-drama recommendations, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.